Okay, so today I wanted to talk about using up your scraps. Um, I tend to work in batches, and so yesterday I was working on something and um, I had a bunch of cut up papers from the project that I was working on, just kind of gathering some little um, pieces for vignettes. And anyways, I um, had this left over and I, and I knew I was gonna do this video or this post uh, and a blog post about this today, so I left it so I could show you what I do with it. Um, so first off, I kind of section everything off into the size, like like five by seven or smaller, um, bigger than a five by seven I put over here. And then also like here is just like this cut up scrap piece of paper. And so I wanted to show you, so what I do, like I will only keep like that and I'll throw, sometimes I'll keep that, but I'm just, I don't know, maybe I will, I don't know. So I, I never know, but I kind of like them to be more than an inch in width. So like this stuff I throw away just because it's too tiny. And like these scraps were left, so I'm gonna throw them away. And then this piece, it's such an awkward shape. So what I do is I just kind of trim it down. Sometimes I'll use my um, paper cutter just to have an exact measurement of things, but um, for this purpose, I'm just kind of um, just quickly cutting it. This is not an inch, um, and so it's kind of iffy. It's, I mean, it's close. It's kind of an inch there, but it's just, it's not very substantial, but I'm still going to kind of put it here because I like the stains on it and um, the spatters, and so you never know I might be able to use that. So then I'm going to show you how I store them. So I'm gonna put these to the side. And so this one, let's see if I have enough room to open it, I do, okay. So this one is anything five by seven or larger. So anything that, that is that big, and if they're kind of, um, cause I have some big papers in here, but these smaller ones that can fit in here, I kinda um, just shove in this little envelope and then I have them and then the rest I kinda tuck in here. But then I have that one. And then, and I store these underneath my desk, so they're kind of dusty. But um, when I'm ready to grab them, then I can I can get to them pretty easy. Ooh, I left that. I was looking for that. Um, I I use this quite often because I'll come in here. I even have like finished little pieces of art in here. I have little envelopes because sometimes I stash them in here. Strips, um, just kind of a little bit of everything. So what I do is, so the tinier stuff was supposed to kind of be in here. So the littler pieces I'll put there and then some of the bigger pieces I'll stack um, here. Anyways, and this is a bunch of tiny, tiny pieces that are in here. I just kind of throw them in here, sort of sectioned, sort of kind of taken care of. That, that way I can kind of grab, like, I. I uh, I was using this the other day, so it's a hot mess, but so then I can grab easily and, and assemble little vignettes whenever I want, when I'm doing a project. So I stick this to the side. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about when I, so then I take my scraps and like, I have like drawers of like florals or leaves. I have pods. I have Alaska inspired. I even will section off pieces these are kind of full, so but you can see like two inches by four inches at least. And then this is like a random four inches. Um, and then I have four by fives. So, ooh, sorry, I'm knocking everything around. So then I have papers. So some of these are smaller. I need to go through and, and organize these better, but usually this is just four by five pieces. And then I have them at my desk quickly so I can quickly and easily grab them. And like I have a drawer of numbers and um, swatches. Like, so whenever I wanna get into something, I can real easy. So I'm gonna show you what some of the create. So then I have a little cigar box and I put vignette and comp comp compilations. <laughs> what do they put compilations? Anyways, vignettes. So these are just like, little pieces of things that I've kind of stitched together that I can use in journals later. But if I'm just feeling this part, then I just kind of throw these together. And there's um, 
I, I've, I've even taught some classes on how to do these. I th the um, found mantras, some of this is from the found mantras class. Um, this doesn't even have a subject matter. It just has stitched pieces just because I didn't want to throw it away. And so I just kind of assemble them and throw them in this little box. And it's such a great box for whenever I'm um, assembling things or like whenever I do a sale, a lot of times I put these little things in my freebies sometimes I'll, or I'll throw them in as extras. But, and like this one doesn't even, it has zero interest basically, but I had this piece of paper and this piece of paper. So I stitched them together because I'll set a goal for myself sometimes that I use up every scrap of paper. So then that means that I stitch it, glue it, staple it, do something with it so that I always have it. But, and then when I'm done, I just put them in this and I tuck it away. And whenever I'm creating, I'll pull this out and see if there's anything in here that, that I want to use. But I hope this was helpful. Um, it, it just is a way to kind of use up all those scraps so they're not, I don't like big buckets of, of stash of things. Um, just because I tend to not use them. And so um, this year I had these big bags. I, I was seeing if I have, I had these big clear Ziploc bags filled with scraps. And I'm like, you need to do something with these or you need to throw them away. And so I just made a bunch of journals. I, I made some vignettes. I cut them up into these different sizes and stashed them just so that they were kind of taken care of. Cause, um, just sitting in a in a drawer f just throwing scraps is not doing me any good it's not serving me and so my goal this last year in 2021 was to um use these scraps up make more use of them and um i'm so glad i did because i like it really really feels good to not have so many stacks of papers but anyways i hope this was helpful